All right, what's up, everybody? I'm your man, Akeem, giving you some fantasy football tips for week seven of the NFL season. Starting with a couple of fill-in players that you should start this week. At Detroit, running back Javid Betts is dealing with another concussion, so he will be out this week against the Atlanta Falcons. And Maurice Morris is going to fill in to replace him this week. And I think you should start him this week against the Atlanta Falcons. He could give you some good flex points this week because Matthew Stafford has been using the running back more often in the receiving game and, Ma and Maurice Morris has good hands on which Matthew Stafford should dump a couple of passes in his direction. So you should start Maurice Morris this week. And at Tampa Bay, they're going to be hosting the Chicago Bears. Ernest Graham's going to start again at the running back position and replacing LeGarrette Blunt. Blunt is still dealing with his knee injury and he will be out. And Graham had some good valuable points last week against the New Orleans Saints. Posting up 17 fantasy points, and I think he could do the same against the Chicago Bears. So start both Maurice Morris and Ernest Graham. Now, a couple of um, injury reports I need to talk about, some caution players that you should just keep pay attention to. Start with Peyton Hills, the running back for the Cleveland Browns. He should have, he will have limited play this week against the Seattle Seahawks. He has been dealing with another injury, hamstring injury. He has not been practicing much this week, and he's expected to have limited action against the Seahawks, and I don't think you should start him this week for fantasy football play. He has actually not have been playing up to par. He was even in my top 10 fantasy running backs this week in the NFL season, but he has not been playing too well, dealing with so many injuries, an ankle injury, hamstring now, and he has also been dealing with sickness, the flu a couple of weeks back, and he has been struggling this season, so you should not start him against the Seattle Seahawks. Now, at San Diego, caution report for both Vincent Jackson, the receiver, and tight end Antonio Gates. Vincent Jackson has been dealing with a hamstring injury, and he's going to be playing against the Jets. Dealing with that hamstring injury is pretty bad, but he had a bye week last week, and he has been recovering a little bit more. Now, he's going to be facing against Darrell Revis one-on-one. -on -one. He should post up some good, valuable points this week, in my opinion. We all know what he can do. Even when he's not 100%, we all seen him perform great last season at the end of the year. And I think he could do the same against Darrell Revis. Now, Antonio Gates, he has been dealing with a lot of injuries throughout the entire year, not been playing at all. And he's just been struggling with that. But he should be back this week against the Jets. Keep an eye out for him. I don't think you should start him this week just, to, just because of his injury reports. But he is going to play against the Jets. Definitely he will be ready next week. But just if you need to start Antonio Gates, feel free and start him if you have no other tight ends to who could give you some good backup points in fantasy play but if you have to go ahead and play on Antonio Gates now my sleepers this week Dallas starting with Dallas running back DeMarco Murray. He's going to um, start over Felix Jones. Jones had to deal with some is injured now. He will be out this week against the St. Louis Rams. The Rams are the worst team in the NFL in the rush defense, averaging 161 yards per game, allowing in rushing yards. And I think DeMarco Murray, being a good all-purpose back, he could give you some great starter value points this matchup, at least 15 points and up. He should have a big game at home against the Saints. And also against the Rams. Also, you should start the Saints defense who are facing against the Indianapolis Colts. Indianapolis is ranked 28th in both rushing and passing offensively. And I think having a home field advantage for the New Orleans Saints defense, they have great momentum. They have the home field. Plus, they lost last week against the Tampa Bay Bucks, so they're trying to get back to par, getting back in, into winning. And I think they could perform well against the Indianapolis Colts due to their poor offense. And I think you should start both DeMarco Murray and um, um, the, Saint, the Saints defense as sleepers this week in fantasy football play. Now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys is next Friday, where I'll give you some tips for week eight of the NFL season. Thank you for watching today's vlog from Sports News Insider. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.